Hey guys, Marty Rooster here, and today I want to talk about probably the most underrated game mode inside Call of Duty World War 2. But before we get into that, let me know in the comment section down below what is your most played game mode inside Call of Duty World War 2 so far. I think mine is probably Kill Confirmed or Domination. Now, in this year's Call of Duty, we have been spoiled with two brand new game modes, game modes which we have never ever seen before. Number one being the War Game Mode, which is extremely popular amongst everyone. Everyone is making videos on it, everyone loves playing it. It is an absolutely amazing new game mode, which I hope they bring something similar in future Call of Duties. The other new game mode to be brought into Call of Duty World War 2 is Gridiron. Now, for those of you that don't know, Gridiron is essentially the same as Capture the Flag or Uplink, except there is no respawn timer if you die. Now, I don't know about you guys, but the one thing I hated about Uplink and Capture the Flag was every time I die, I'd have to wait to respawn. And especially the most aggravating thing inside those game modes was when you spawn, get grenaded, then you have to wait an additional timer to spawn back into the game. It was absolutely crazy, and I think that's why most of the people kind of avoid Capture the Flag. I think, to be honest with you, the only time I actually played Capture the Flag seriously was all the way back in Black Ops 1 because you needed it for Marathon Pro, I'm pretty sure. You needed to capture like 15 flags to get the Marathon perk to pro status, which is crazy. That's what, like eight years ago or something like that? God, that's crazy. But yeah, that's the one thing I hated about Capture the Flag is every time you die, you have to wait for a respawn time, which for pro players and stuff like that, for like the big quality tournaments, that would totally be cool because the game was more about strategy and teamwork and stuff like that. But when you've got six random players on a team, the spawn timer really does not work very well. But without the spawn timer, Gridiron plays nothing like Capture the Flag, believe it or not. Even though they are very similar, pretty much the only difference is the spawn timer, Gridiron does play very, very nicely. It does have a laid back atmosphere. No one's really farming streaks in there because you don't really get streaks in World War II unless you are playing the objective. So no one really gets their streaks and if they do, it's pretty much a UAV or, you know, very rarely do you see those huge streaks in there. And I guess if you're a new player to Call of Duty World War 2, you normally start on war mode, I would recommend. But it's a very laid back atmosphere in a war mode. And if you want to get into more of the core game modes, I guess you should probably go from war mode to gridiron. Because like I said, it is a very, very, very laid back atmosphere. And to be honest with you guys, when I hop on and I want to warm up before jumping into team deathmatch or kill confirmed or domination, I normally stop by war mode or gridiron to kind of warm up in. It's a pretty cool game mode and I can tell you what, it is definitely, definitely underrated. Alright guys, and that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And most importantly, make sure you are leaving your favorite game mode in Call of Duty World War 2 in the comment section down below. I'm out guys, peace.